Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Maverick here today with another episode of Kawaii Takajinai Shikimori-san. Um, in the future, let me just call it Shikimori-san, everybody will know what I'm talking about, and hey, I'm sure that a lot of people are here because of her anyway. She's definitely an awesome and interesting character from just what we can see in the first few episodes. Uh, there is this, you know, this gap moi that she has, right? The, the sort of gap between her cute side and her cool side. Uh, that is one of the main premises of this anime, and it works. It works, right? I'm a big fan of these sort of gap characters as well. Uh, and, um, yeah. Uh, beyond that, of course, we were introduced to the main male lead as well, Izumi. Um, and his sort of, like, unlucky disposition, I guess you could say. Um, it's very supernaturally unlucky, if you will. But hey, uh, he's not, he can't be all that unlucky since he got a very, very good girlfriend in Shikimori, right? So, you know, right now at this point, I'm just going forward and hoping that um, the episodes themselves, the, the, the sort of situations themselves, are not going to be too repetitive. Uh, you know, we already see what the main gimmick is. I call it a gimmick. Gimmick isn't necessarily a, a negative word. Uh, it's just that you know this is what the the whole premise is built on, right? So can they do things uh, from here on forward without always repeating the same formula of okay, Izumi getting into some sort of situation and then Shikimori having to bail him out and and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So maybe we'll see some change in this episode. Well, let's just get into it and find out. All right, let's begin in three, two, one, play. Yeah, does anybody except you get hurt? Other than you get hurt? Okay, let me guess. Uh, Izumi might... Izumi might, like, get injured or something, make an early... an early retirement. And then just get, he's gonna go over to cheer on Shikimori, and then Shikimori's gonna win everything? Something like that? Mickey Moore's not just a cutie. Hmm. 
you know, probably this season we have the battle of the of the Moe Gap character of the Gap characters, right? We got Shikimori, who's you know cute and uh, and cool at the same time, and then over there on Spy Family we got Yoru, who's a uh, sort of like airhead and um, and I guess twisted would be the right word to to describe her at the same time. <laughs> and it's funny because just when I mentioned that they have like a situation there where they are literally being like spies and whatnot. Yeah, this uh there's definitely going to be a big battle of the waifus this season. I mean, I guess technically going by popularity, there's also Raftelia from Shield Hero, but I don't really think they're quite in the same sort of category. I do wonder though, so beyond his unnatural- t oh. Yeah, I was like, beyond being unlucky, I'm kind of curious about his athletic ability, so. So, you know, it isn't technically that he doesn't have athletic ability, it's more that he's just unlucky, right? But although, being sort of pushed around. <laughs> Empty kit. Alright, never mind. That goes beyond just uh, unluckiness, though. He's <laughs> not really coordinated in terms of his body movements. Right on the head. What did I say, guys? I think I kind of saw this guy. That's what I mean about, like, I did not actually read this part in the manga or anything, but, I mean, it just seems obvious how the situation would develop, right? Good one, Shikimori. <laughs> That's kind of true. Like, honestly, it could have been way worse. As a soccer player myself, uh, what really, you know, those kinds of high balls are, are relatively okay. What really gets your, gets you, like, um, gets stars flying in your eyes is when you directly stand in front of somebody's goal try. Goal kick. Heck, I'm not, I'm not his boyfriend, and I also worry about this guy. Are you, how did you make it so far in life? without really being severely injured or anything. I guess, you know, within all that unluckiness, there is also a certain degree of, of restraint. Like, whatever god is playing him a, uh, a crew joke or anything.
He's like, he's so cute. <laughs> okay, this girl definitely does not work out. <laughs> <laughs> Come ya, eh? Strike. No, he didn't rejoin. All right. I guess they're being beaten right now. It's actually not as far apart as I was expecting. Yeah, Shikimari! <laughs> Looks like you're big. <laughs> this translation, though. <laughs> Okay, this was a pretty iconic scene, I believe. <laughs> Come on, he came in. Damn, a jumping, a jumping surf. Dang.
Ah, and here comes a slideshow. Of course. <laughs> I mean, this isn't exactly a sports anime or an action anime, so they're... I'm not gonna fault them for that, but... In any case. Hey, look at that form. <laughs> Two point lead. It seems like they got two aces on their team versus only one ace, so... <laughs> or, let's let's call it this way. They had two named characters versus one named character. <laughs> and two is bigger than one. Is this girl going to make a reoccurrence or something? Or is maybe this particular episode not ending just yet? Like, again, I kind of wonder, though, like, how how does she normally, like, how did she act, or how were her attributes, if you will, before she met Izumi? That's what I'm interested in. So I guess, based on this kind of reaction then, probably she was relatively low-key before she got together with Izumi. <laughs> wow! It can actually get... Now we get a BL scene. <laughs>
Wait. She's like, I want that treatment as well. Are we going to have a tripping scene now? Yep! <laughs> and then... Shikimori! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sappy, but no, oh, she's jealous. She's jealous. Just trying to hold in her grin so badly. Her facial expressions are just the best. Oh. Now the actual, actual ending here. Oh no 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 wait, yeah this is the yeah I was uh, I was really uh, enamored by this ending last episode I remember now <laughs> the game which honestly was the highlight to me last episode but this one okay I think it's 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 alright anyways I will see you guys after this all right so that was episode two and um yeah more or less as expected right you could totally see how the situation was going to unfold. Uh, before it even happened. Uh, I mean, uh, to its credit, though, I, I do feel like the, the follow-up to it was was kind of funny and interesting as well. You know, the, the aftermath, and we do see Shikimori getting more and more popular and whatnot, and, you know, with this kind of unbalanced sort of relationship, at least, on the surface level, things are bound to to come out, right? Some uh, some insecurities, for particularly for Izumi, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, you, you can totally see how in the future some kind of drama or conflict would probably uh, come from this sort of uh, lack of confidence that Izumi has. I, you can already totally see this coming. Uh, but then again, since this is more of a comedy series, I do wonder how far they are going to go down that rabbit hole, right? Like how far are they going to push the angst and the, uh, the drama towards all this? But uh, the situation is definitely there right for the taking. If they want to utilize it, it's just a matter of if and when they want to utilize it, right? Uh, I'm, I'm sure that some, probably there's going to be a situation coming up in the future where uh somebody makes a comment to like how izumi isn't really um isn't really 
worthy, I guess you could say, of, of Shikimori. I mean, sure, we, we had a little bit of that kind of comment in the last episode, right? But all I'm talking about is for it to be the focal point uh, or a major drama point in, in one of the upcoming episodes or, or chapters here. So you can totally see that coming. Uh, we'll just have to see about that, right? And again, that probably also goes in into, you know, how they met each other in the first place, how how Shinkamori was attracted to to Izumi in the first place, and, you know, what other redeeming qualities Izumi has beyond being, you know, cute. And I I'm sure he's a nice guy, right? I'm sure he's a caring guy and all that. Um, you know, he certainly has his his little circle of friends as well. Uh, but I do think that he he should have other redeeming qualities beyond just um, his his natural uh, unluckiness and people's sympathy towards him, right? Like maybe uh, I'm just just going off roughly like how this kind of situation can play out. I would guess like maybe the determination or conviction to get through life, even though you know he's under such unfair circumstances. Like maybe they're going to they're going to paint his character as the one that continues to push on through no matter what the circumstances are. No matter like he could have easily you know fallen into this self loathing kind of, of of situation where he hates the world or or hates God or or whatnot or hates his parents. It doesn't matter, right? Hates the fact that that you know screaming out uh, at this justice and whatnot so, but maybe he's still able to carry through and keep a positive and up upbeat attitude towards everything maybe that's the part which makes him so attractive and um is is the character quality that he has uh so there's definitely got to be something beyond that right I, I don't think that they are going to just completely let him be the pretty face of <laughs> because that's exactly what he is right he is the pretty face of, of this series here right in um uh, you know, I guess a sort of like role reversal here where Shikimori san is the one who's uh, all, you know, acting kind and, and whatnot, but also being able to, to step up and act cool at the same time. Uh, I'm sure that uh, Izumi also has his own uh, qualities as well, which we will see in the future with or without the drama associated with it, right? And speaking of drama, you do have to wonder that Kamiya girl, right, the, the ace of the uh, opposing side's volleyball team, I do have a feeling that that they are foreshadowing this is not the last time we see of we see of her. She certainly has some sort of beef or or some sort of complaint towards uh towards either Shikimori or Izumi, right? Um and maybe that ties into one of the sort of drama points I mentioned earlier, maybe not, but we will see in the future. Beyond that, yeah, not really too much else to to add here, right? Um again, we could have seen this sort of development a mile away. Uh, of course, we got Chikimori's very classic, you know, angle of her hosting up her hair and and whatnot, which is typically, you know, there's there's been lots of um, it's it's sort of like an iconic and and cliche sort of action, right? For a female to tie up her hair into a ponytail and whatnot, it is um, I think it's it's like constantly voted as the most attractive sort of hairstyle for. Uh, especially for for high schoolers and and whatnot, right? It, it just reeks of, of sunshine and and innocence and uh, and um, you know energy as well and so on and so forth. Uh, but they they kind of like also took that traditional sort of attractiveness and actually put it into a sort of like like coolness, right? And and ikemen, like handsomeness as well into it. You could see all the girls falling for for Shikimori uh, under that kind of circumstances, uh, and we see it play out in the various episodes. Uh, the aftermath of the episodes as well. Um, although all things considered, like the the end result of this was much more wholesome than a lot of these other situations could have gone to, right? Like it could have been they could have instantly made it into a situation where you know the girls maybe question why someone as as talented and as athletic as Kimori is with this kind of a boyfriend, right? Um, I know, you know the fact that he's he's very cute and and kind of also is uh, accepted for being cute probably doesn't hurt him uh, too much either. Uh, but yeah, I'm just I'm just waiting to see if they are going to go down that route. Like if they don't, I'm I'm totally okay with it. You know, I don't particularly like this kind of drama either. But um, at the but beyond that though, I definitely am hoping they are going to develop his character a little bit more beyond just being unlucky and a cute face, right? Um, and and being nice to Shikimori because I feel like that's kind of 
expected. I, I expect to see a little bit more, right? I going going beyond here, and you know what is the um, what is the the charmingness of his character, um, and hopefully we'll be able to see that in the next few episodes. And um, also we'll have a little uh, more situations where not quite as cliche in the next few episodes. I kind of had a feeling this was coming, especially for the uh, initial few episodes of this anime. Probably we're going to be repeating this formula at least two or three times, uh, and then later on, hopefully it will change into something else. Anyways, that's it for Shikimori-san. Thank you guys. I will see you guys next time. Oh, and by the way, I will probably mostly uh, be uploading these on Sundays. I haven't fully confirmed that yet, but um, you know, it's just some scheduling issues as well as my own schedules as well. It just works out in the end better for everyone, including for me as well. So uh, don't be alarmed if I don't get these out on a Saturday or whatnot. They will be out on Sunday. Uh, and um, yeah, that's it for now. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.